Sometimes we want to use the validate cluster feature in order to tell us what's going wrong and how to fix it. So I'm going to simulate a problem and we're going to use the validation to help us go ahead and figure out what the problem is. So for instance, I'm going to take DHCP1's storage and I'm going to say take offline. And now we see it's offline. Next, I'm going to go up to the cluster itself. And I'm going to say, hey, I'm having a problem, but I don't really know what it is. So I'll click on Validate Cluster to help me figure it out. So I'll click Next. Now, if I know the particular area, then I can choose Run Only Tests I Select. But if I'm really not sure, I'll click Run All the Tests. Run only, running all the tests does take a little bit longer, however. And I'll just go ahead and click Next. And I'll say, hey, I don't really know where the problem is. I just know something's wrong. So go ahead and find it for me and then give me a suggestion on how to repair it. I can see a lot of different tests that have passed. Some are, ten, are pending and the ones that will fail will show up in red. We see here that the testing is complete and there is a, at least one warning and we can see what that is. So I'm going to click on view report. It makes it a little bit easier to see it all in a much larger type of format. I'll choose Firefox, but you can choose any web browser to make it easier to see. So at the top, it says cluster configuration. There's a result summary with an exclamation point, meaning there's some sort of a warning. So I'll click on that, and then I'll, it takes me down a little bit on the page. And then what I'll do is I'll click on validate resource status, because that one also is showing us the warning when it drills down. So this is going to drill down even further. Then I see highlighted in yellow, it says, hey, the resource is marked with the state of offline, which sure enough, I took that drive offline. So it says it's not available. You may want to fix this by making it go back online. So this is uh, one of the ways that we can use Validate Cluster to help us solve some issues. Now, I saw some other problems as well that I may not have been aware of. And let's take a look if they can help us as well. So I'm going to click under Network. And under Network, we see Validate IP Configuration is a warning, as well as Validate Network Communication. So I'll click on the Validate IP first, and it drills us down into this particular area. And we'll look for, once again, the highlight in yellow. It says, File Server 2 does not have an adapter usable by the cluster with a defined default gateway. So apparently I've got more than one network card on file server two, and it doesn't have a gateway on it. I know I have at least one card on there with a gateway, which is fine. So this is more of a warning. It's not really going to stop the cluster from working. Uh, same thing with bringing that drive offline. It's not going to stop the cluster from working. However, it's going to keep the DHCP role from working, which is uh, what that drive is using it for. So what we can do is we can go in and, and make the changes that it re recommends, such as adding the gateway, bringing the drive online, running the tests again, and then seeing if they all come up green. So that's how we can use the validate cluster settings in order to fix some problems that we might have with our Microsoft failover cluster.